tonight on Live in Your Lounge, Wallace Mayer, Sarah Flinch and Jack Billman. Hello and welcome to another Saturday night of live music. From our lounge to yours, this is Live in Your Lounge. My name is Ryan Banks and over the next couple of weeks, I will be house sitting for the wonderful Lexi Seculus as she embarks on a brand new dramatic project, which we will actually be streaming live here at Live in Your Lounge early next month. But more about tonight's offering, and it is a very good offering indeed. If you are watching along at home, be sure to get involved with the show. And of course, if you wanna be in the running to be our super fan for the evening, all you have to do is comment, tag, or share to be in the running to win yourself a Grease Monkey prize package. And you do have plenty of time to get involved with tonight's show because we're not just bringing you the usual two musical acts, no, we are bringing you three. We are absolutely spoiling you for live music today. We're gonna to kick things off very shortly with Wallace Mayer. And then after that, we'll be hearing from Sarah Flint and then finishing things off for the evening is the one and only Jack Billman. And I am extremely happy to say I'm currently joined in the lounge by Jack Billman himself. Jack, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks, Banksy. How are you, mate? I'm very well. How are you feeling? How excited are you to perform a bit, perform a bit of live music this evening? Very, very excited, Ryan. And also to all the viewers at home, this is actually Ryan's debut at hosting. So um, you know, I just want to say good on you, Ryan, and have a very good night tonight. Um, Keep at it, very good. Thanks, Jack, I really appreciate it. Uh, more than anything, I enjoy eating into your interview time to talk about me, because I'm that kind of egotistic kind of fella. You've already got me, you've already got <laughs> my plan. Jack, we're here to talk about music and live performing. So in tonight's performance, are we gonna hear any sort of new music or what have you got playing? What vibes are you chucking at us? Yeah, it's probably about half the set is new music um, because I've been locked away recording a new solo record. Um, so I'm sort of going to give the first taste of what they sort of sound like. So there's a bit of outlaw bluesy sort of stuff. There's a bit of, um, bit of there's a mountain song um, and the rest I'll just, yeah, you can wait and see, I guess. <laughs> no spoilers. Yeah. But, so obviously <laughs> during COVID, it has provided you that opportunity to say write a new solo album, but right at the beginning of it, it actually did something pretty horrendous for your brand new musical project, Billman, which is a, a full band with you as the front man. Yeah, unfortunately, um, we were working quite hard for a long time on a new record and a new project with my brother, Joe Billman and uh, Pat Quinn Quirk on guitar and Todd Gregory on bass. And, um, you know, we planned it for a long time and, and spent a lot of time getting it right and then the release coincided basically with the lockdown, which um, basically killed any sort of momentum organically mm -hmm. that we were hoping for and, you know, a few major things just fell through the cracks and it's just with anyone who's in the industry understands that when you've got a new release, that's when things happen. It's because it's new, it's exciting, people want to check it out. So, yeah, look, I was really down in the dumps for a couple of months and, you know, just very, yeah, just very sad and very, but you obviously you can't be too upset because it's a worldwide pandemic and it's a record I'm talking about. These people have lost their jobs, businesses, you name it, and lives, obviously. So that's what pulled me through. But, yeah, luckily <clears throat> I've been lucky enough to get a grant from Homefront Funding from Arts ACT, which is amazing, and I've just been in the studio ripping in with my good mate Matt Barnes doing a new album and um, having a few tins at the, uh, the same time. So, yeah, all good. Also, as you say, that kind of sense of perspective does put it in place, but devastating nonetheless. I do like plugging Billman, the band, however, especially the release of the latest EP, Sink Like a Stone. I think it's fantastic, and hopefully we do get a bit of a re-release going forward. Uh, you as a musician, do you enjoy having that sort of, not a split identity, but you've got two musical projects that do produce kind of somewhat different sounds because Billman's quite a heavier on the rock whilst yourself and the music we're going to hear tonight isn't quite that. Yeah, um, it's always been a beast that's sitting inside me. Um, I've always wanted to rock out and it's, it's nice to have both avenues because you write songs and, you know, sometimes I've tried to probably get too much out of a song um, because it's, it, you know, it could have been a lot simpler because I've tried to sort of rock it up a little bit but now it's sort of like you have an idea and it's like okay what basket does that go in and then you sort of pick it up from there and but yeah of like all the musicians that I love the most are ones that can just wear different hats and show that they're not just doing one thing so 
that's what I'm trying to aspire to be. And, and um, yeah, it, it just creatively to, to focus on something a little bit new and foreign as opposed to the same sort of direction is always a nice, fresh thing. So, I, yeah, I, that's what I'll always probably do, I'd say, after this experience, even though it's been disappointing, just the... The making the record in the studio and the just just being with the guys in the band, they're all such great musicians and, and brilliant minds. So I've learnt so much just for the whole process. So yeah, it's been good. Well, I am a huge fan of the beast inside you, Jack. Now, Thank you very much. I do have a question from a fan and another quick reminder for people at home, if you do have questions for our artists this evening, do send them in and I'm more than happy to have a chat with them about it. But I've got a question from Zin Bin for you. And Zinvin is inquiring about your last name, or more specifically, the spelling of your last name. They said it's something that they've never seen before, and it's very interesting. That, for people at home, is it a Billman? How you spell it with a double I and yeah, a double N? So B double I L M A double N. And I think someone down the line's had a bit of a stutter or something, and someone's writ, wrote it down wrong, and, and then that's that's how it's ended up. But I believe it's Danish. Um, so the, the double I in particular is just bizarre. Like, you, you know, you ring up Telstra or something and you say, listen, you know, I want to pay my phone bill. And they say, okay, what's the last name? You go, yeah, B-I-I. And they go, okay, B-I-L-L. And you go, no, 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 no. And you end up speaking like a robot and saying it about 500 times. But anyone in the Billman family is just used to it now. So we just deal with it and get on with it. Um, but it's, yeah, it's not the first time. But thanks for that question. It's a, um, it's a very, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, how would you say, common one that I've got to deal with. So yeah, thank you very much. But it's out there now. It's in the public. Maybe, maybe yep. we're done with it. Maybe we're not. Who knows? Yeah, who knows? Now, Jack, I have been told by yourself there is a confession segment of this interview this evening that relates to, was it Anthems Festival? Yeah, I do. I need to uh, fess up, get something off the table um, because it's just been eating away at me and I need to apologise. I just want you to know before you tell it, we're all here for you, Jack, and whatever comes out your mouth I'm, I'm here for you yeah okay yeah well, but that, that's great going really well on your first day here too mate just want to say i don't know if you've mentioned yet it's my first day on the job so yeah, really thank well. you jack yeah so um i just want to get this off my chest uh, i was lucky to play anthem's festival a few years ago with the great lineup headlined by the great john farnham and you know a few other great artists and we played our set and everything was all good and you know we finished up and you know, we're thirsty boys at the best of times. And then we had our ride and we quickly got rid of that. And then I was told by, I won't say who, because I'm not going to throw them under the bus, but another artist, guitarist, told me that there was this big silver fridge full of beers that, um, you know, just go for it, rip in. So, you know, I did just that. So, you know, I was getting as many beers as I could for the band, my bandmates and my friends. And then I got a text message um, from the backstage manager. <clears throat> um, as you can see there, mate, you can't be knocking off JF's drinks. Managers are pissed. Please stop. Uh, JF stands for John Farnham, so I'd like to actually really apologise to you, John. Um, I hope you weren't too thirsty after we pinched your beers, but yeah, there was about 80 of them in there, so yeah, sorry, mate. I, I just want to get that out there and say sorry. So I yeah, hope you forgive me. Hopefully he does forgive you. I don't know if that perhaps puts a dent in our hopes of having John Farnham on the live in your lounge. Yeah, just get plenty of beers if you have him here, like, and I'll make sure that I'm nowhere to be seen. Yeah, it'll it'll be really smooth, I reckon. <laughs> Um, so your set is coming up third this evening. Now, yes. how excited are you to do that? But also, you're, you're very used to performing in front of live audiences. Not having the live audience, bar, say, the crew here tonight. There's how about a thousand crew here as well, <laughs> for anyone watching this. There's so many people, it's just amazing. So, yeah. Proper production, they call this. There we are. But uh, how do you think you're going to be able to engage with your fans knowing that they're watching on the other side of the screen it is a funny one um you just use the something to to go off you know there's someone that wants to talk to you or yell something out or request something or you know whatever but it's it's a bit eerie so i don't know i just i'll look at that screen and, and hope for the best and hopefully someone wants to interact and i'll just have a bit of a yarn might explain some of the meanings behind the songs but just to have this amazing platform to play on is just like it's I can't even fathom how good this is compared like I've done two other live stream gigs oh sorry three and they've all just been in my little studio with one mic and doing my best to to get a bit of a sound out there and pretty stripped back but this is just full noise all the cameras all the production it's just we're so blessed to have this here and and as an artist to to express you know this is the best live indication you'll get um, of my set and I'm just so thankful for Live in Your Lounge for having me so thanks very much guys cheers yeah, it's an absolute pleasure 
having you, Jack. And very shortly, we are going to hear some of that live music as promised. But I still want to talk to you a little bit more, Jack. I want to know more about the man behind the guitar. So multi-instrumentalists as well, am I right in saying? Oh, it's mainly just guitar-related instruments. But yeah, I, I don't know. I guess. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, I think we may just check in and see how Wallace Mayer is doing. Now, I do believe I've just got the thumbs up. Jack, I do want to take the opportunity to say thank you so much for taking the time for talking to us. And also, we cannot wait to see your live set a little bit later on. Thank you very much. And um, yeah, keep going well on your first night. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Jack Billman. We'll be hearing from him again very shortly. But for now, please, Make some noise at home in your lounge for Wallace Mayer. Good evening live in your lounge. Um, it's an absolute honor to be here. Uh, first song um, is called No Souvenirs. It's um, my mum's favorite. So this is for you, mum. Something now to say Never thought I'd feel this way But I know now and understand Find the strength I need inside From myself I cannot hide And all that I'm feeling it On this road gonna walk it sometime Tell me what is mine And I'll soon be out of here Just you cut me some slack That's for you, Mum. Okay, this is a song I wrote here. It's called Now You're Mine. Tell me there's something what can it be? You know there's nothing right next to me And I can't stop thinking it's all in my mind You're part of the ocean, you're beautiful free But 
know that it's nothing right next to me And I can't stop thinking it's all in my mind Pulling me under Far from the shore Your whispers roar You belong to me now Waves in your time Now that you're mine Now you are mine Pulling me under from the shore, your whispers roar. You belong to me now. Waves and your time now, you are mine. This is a song called Paradise. It's on the latest album. Um, What's in the name available in um, most of the platforms. It's a, it's a very important song, this. It's, it's for a friend, um, a dear friend, Ian, um, Margaret's husband. This was um, his favorite song. So I'm going to sing this one for him. Making me smile each time you are near me. Making me smile feels good. Making me want to get even closer. Sailing on old driftwood And when you try to tell me Things ain't been that good I just love you even more I know I love you the reason I'm feeling so happy you take me to paradise lifted me up when I started falling always there by your side and when you take me there I know that you're with me I know that you really care well, I feel love so much Baby, this is paradise Beautiful laughter, a beautiful smile Is all that I need to see And in this together, sharing and dreaming This love is meant to be when you take me there Well I know that you're with me I know that you really care Well I feel love so much alive Baby this is paradise You are the reason I'm feeling so happy you take me to paradise You lifted me up when I started falling Always there by my side And when you take
take me there But I know that you're with me I know that you really care Well, I feel love so much like Baby, this is paradise So that was for you, Ian. And this is another song I wrote here in Australia. So this one's called Bad Times End. I'm broke, but that don't really matter Heading out of this lonely old town And in my mind where things are getting better And I know that'll take a little time And I don't want to, but I need to I will only have myself to blame It's time for the change And I know that all bad times end Well I'm gonna get myself together In a place where I know that I can Too many times I've said hey yeah, whatever, and I'll do everything that I can. I don't want to, but I need to. I will only have myself to blame. And I think it's time for the change. Okay, this is a song, it's um, also an album, um, it's, uh, hi Stuart, how are you mate? <laughs> this one got to number five in the Irish <coughs> and UK, excuse me, <coughs> country charts, and it also got to number 15 in the European charts, country charts. Oh, forever dreaming. Waking up this morning and the rain was pouring down. Falling on the rooftops, I lie and I hear. Sound. Oh, a 
but going around the room as I lay and close my curious eyes. Thinking back to yesterday's, wondering what you're doing now, right now. Imagine that you are with me forever on my edge. She's mine. I close my eyes, then quickly open them to see what I, I find. And I see you smiling sweetly, but you don't. Seem to say anything because you're still in my dreams, forever dreaming, set me free. Let's just see. Forever dreaming. Okay, this is another song I wrote here in Australia. This one's called I Think My Last Bottle Down. Um, all about alcohol and uh, all that stuff, so I'll not get too much into it, but that's what it's called. Look at the clock and it's just Bar will close, it's just about time. I look at my drink, and it's just about empty. 
I feel so bad And I know I'll soon cry And as I turn to leave the bar room The gantry lights bid me farewell I lift my beer and hold it tightly And I think my last bottle down The lonely street, a cold reminder Everything comes to an end Another night I can't remember And I've probably lost another fake friend And as I turn Barroom The gantry lights bid me farewell I lift my beer and hold it tightly And I think my last bottle Yes, I think my last bottle down. Yes, I think my last bottle down. So this is my my final song tonight. It's been an absolute pleasure being here. Um, just love it. It's just absolutely amazing. Thanks for the comments. Um, yeah. Yes, I can. I can just make it up. But uh, anyway, I uh, um, just wish everybody well back home, Scotland. And um <clears throat> hope he's doing hope he's doing okay. Uh, this one's from my dad. This was this was his favourite song, it's called Stay a While. Stay a while, stay a 
Just be quiet and listen for once There's much more that we could have done By letting me know you were hurting that way Could have stopped you wanting to run We can kindle the flames for the fire once burn deep in our hearts And please stop your crying and don't turn away There's something that I want to say I want you to know that I miss you I want you to know touch and your kiss and that smile on your face would you stay a while with me stay a while stay a while with me stay a while stay a while with me stay a while Are you enjoying Live in Your Lounge? Head to liveinyourlounge.com, hit donate and support your artists. And that was the wonderful sounds of Wallace Mayer kicking off the evening and really setting a nice mood here in the lounge, which I look forward to seeing more from our next two acts. Before we do get there, if you are enjoying what you are hearing and seeing thus far and what we have to come here at Live in Your Lounge, do consider donating via our website. It is as easy as a couple of clicks of a button and you can donate towards your favorite acts. Very shortly, we will be speaking with Wallace Mayer, but do, do, do keep sending in your messages. We absolutely love to see you all getting involved in social media and letting us as well as our artists know what you feel about their performances. Simply wonderful indeed. As well as every time you do comment, tag us, use the hashtag Live in Your Lounge or share any of our content, you are automatically entered into the Superfan competition and you might be able to get yourself some Grease Monkey prizes by the end of the night. But I have now just been joined by the man we just listened to on stage there, Wallace Mayer. Wallace, thanks so much for joining us. It's great to be here, Ryan. Um, absolute pleasure. Thanks. Thanks very much, mate. Well, it's a pleasure. Thank you. Many, you really uh, 
set a mood for us right there. How did you how did you feel coming off the back of that performance? Are you feeling on cloud nine? Yeah, very much so, Ryan. Um, I, I've never done anything um, quite like that before. You know, I've, I've done lots of radio and stuff like that, but that was um, that was the real deal for me. Um, I felt um, exhilarated, quite emotional. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it was it was a, it was a wonderful a wonderful enjoy, enjoying ex experience. So. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, I, think, I think everyone at home enjoyed it as well. I did see a few comments come in of people dancing in their kitchens and yeah. uh, a couple of people, international audience as well, a few people yeah. from France messaged in. Wow, yeah, yeah. Brilliant, brilliant, <laughs> absolutely brilliant. Um, yes, it's, it's, I've, been, I've really been looking forward to this, Ryan. You know, it's mm. been, it's, um, I was really, really, privilege to come here and play in, in such a wonderful um, st uh, setup, you know, mm. and um, I'd, I'd been telling folks back home and um, that I'd be doing this, so yeah, yeah it's been it's been quite a it's been quite a day. Um, <laughs> I, I can think, imagine. I think I'll probably sleep well tonight. I um, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. So we're speaking about the people back home. I'm going to take a real shot in the dark here. This isn't a real traditional Australian accent I'm hearing from you right now. Uh, where are you from? I'm, I'm, I'm from uh, Scotland. I'm from a, a beautiful part of the world called um, the Mull of Kintyre in the west coast of Scotland. Um, I grew up there um, with, my, with my family. Um, so if you ever get a chance to go to Scotland, um, Go and visit the Mall of Kintyre, a wee place called Tarbert, and um, my my mum makes a, a very good homemade soup. So you'll be more than welcome to to go and join my family, and they'll make you they'll make you feel very much at home. Mum, if you're listening right now, there it is. The offer's been put out there. I think That's a few of us would definitely take exactly take right for that. That's for you, Karine Mayer. <laughs> um, you do actually come from a bit of a musical family, don't you? I believe your uncle and your father have a bit of a musical bit of heritage to them. Yeah, um, very much so, Ryan. Um, it's, it's one, it's a long story, but um, they, they won a beat competition in the 1962, I think it was. They mm. came from a wee village in the, in the west coast of Scotland and they entered this competition in the city. There was over 200 bands there and it was um, it was very much uh, they just wanted to take part I don't think they ever thought they were going to win it but they did win it and um, they ended up um, in America and they were on Soho and they, they rubbed shoulders with the Beatles um, supporting never the Kings never heard of them no, no I, haven't, <laughs> I haven't heard of them but the, the, the great, one of the great stories was um, Paul McCartney had a shot of my 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 uncle's bagpipes because the the, the Rabin the Clansmen brought in bagpipes into rock and roll, which went down very well. So Paul McCartney decided this night that he was going to try and um, play play my uncle's pipes. He could blow them up, but he couldn't get a tune. John Lennon couldn't even blow the pipes up, so he, he was he wasn't he was he hadn't got the lungs seemingly. But um, no, it's a wonderful story, you know, and um, the, the the success um, very quickly, but it didn't last. The success didn't last. Um, just well, one thing and another. But um, they had a wonderful experience, um, you know, socialising with the likes of the Beatles and stuff like that. So, yeah, um, some something to be very proud of. A, a wonderful story. And I, obviously I had a great apprenticeship through my dad um, and my uncle because they brought me into, the, into a band when I was 14. So I, I started playing in pubs and that since I was 14. So I haven't, wow. I haven't really stopped, you know. That's brilliant. So you're going from rubbing shoulders <laughs> with the Beatles to having your sort of young career yeah. blossom like that. That's yeah. a real musical pedigree. Wallace, I want to say thank you so much for joining us here in the lounge this evening. And 
hopefully you enjoyed yourself just as much as we enjoyed watching you. Oh, Ryan, I can't thank you all enough. Thank you so much. It's been absolutely, it's been brilliant, mate. Thank you. There he is, Wallace Mayer. If you do want to revisit his performance, you can catch up on YouTube, Facebook and the website at a later date. But for now, I must introduce our second act for this evening. Please send through all those clap emojis via the social medias for the wonderful Sarah Flint. How's everyone going tonight? Oh, I'm loving reading all the comments. I've got a little screen up here. Um, so that one was lost. That was an original song of mine. It's about some dreams I was having. Um, now I'm just going to go into a cover. And this one is You're the One That I Want.
to everyone that's tuning in. Don't normally like this song when you're turning into something beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> I'll take that as a big compliment. Um, I'm now going to be playing some songs that are being released on Tuesday, which is a few days away. Four days? I don't know. I don't know how to do math. Um, with my band, Apricot Inc., so the song is called Lucky Rainbow. Places. And then the next morning, we talked about it all, what we did. Superstitions are on 
is part one of our release, I guess. Um, now I'll play the B side, which is Caramelized Crusade. Um, this one was written during isolation. Um, I guess it's about kicking back with your friends, chilling out. It's pretty self-explanatory. So this next one I'm going to play is, I guess, my own personal output from the night after Lucky Rainbow, if that makes sense. Um, I guess it's how I was feeling the next day. It's called Hangover. Thank you. 
Thanks everyone for tuning in. Thank you to Live in Your Lounge for having me here tonight. This is not like anything I've done before. It's completely new. Amazing. This one's a new one of my own. It's called The Weekend. Um, I wrote it after a breakup, and I guess it's about thinking what the other person's doing, how they're spending their time, who they're with, what they're doing, all of that sort of stuff. Hope you like it.
you so much for having me tonight. Have a good one, everyone. For everything audio, visual, and all technical production services, contact Event AV Services. The team at Event AV Services is still operating and still here to help with services to purchase or hire. They offer video conferencing, virtual classrooms for your students, web streaming, and they can even organize live paid subscription broadcasts of virtual concerts and performances. Event AV Services. Visit eavs.com.au. Are you enjoying Live in Your Lounge? Head to liveinyourlounge.com, hit donate and support your artists. Sarah Flint there with a simply wonderful set. How good is live music? No, seriously though, how good is live music? Not a rhetorical question, actual question that we want an answer from you guys at home for. So do flick us a message on all the social medias and get yourself in the running to be the winner of tonight's super fan. All you have to do is comment, tag, or share anything to do with our Live In Your Lounge accounts and you'll be in the running to win yourself that Grease Monkey prize packet. Now I am joined on the sofa by the artist we've just heard from there, Sarah Flint. Sarah, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. That was an absolute Pleasure listening you. to you then. Thank you. I was just mentioning comments there and you had so many comments come through. I want to read a couple out okay. <laughs> for you here to put you on the spot. I think Aya Eves, who we had on the show not too yes. long ago, uh, called your rendition of the Grease cover beautifully spooky. Oh. Um, Brendan Alley at home, big shout out. I like this one. It was just nice and simple. It was just woo with about oh, oh. eight O's in the end of it. <laughs> But the one that really sticks out for me, and for me, the reason why this is like such a good sort of show and opportunity is a comment from Tara Shane, hopefully I've said, said that correctly, she said she was so glad to be introduced to your incredible sound tonight. How does that make you feel hearing that? I love that. It's so good that people are finding new music, and even I've found new music through the Live In Your Lounge um, setup, I guess. It's great. It's it's good opportunity, but it like is. over the past few months and during COVID lockdown and not being able to physically engage with an audience, what have you kind of been up to during that time? Well, I mean, we've just started on a new band project, so that has been taking up my time gratefully. Like I've loved it, um, and yeah, just taking time to focus on everything that really matters. I guess you can really dial everything back. Absolutely. Which has been really great, yeah. Now, you mentioned the new band, Apricot Inc. Big plug yes. right there. Yes, Fantastic Apricot Inc. Sound. <laughs> Check them out. It's so, so good. <laughs> but you, uh, you played a rendition of your yes. soon-to-be debut single tonight, didn't you? Yes, I did. Um, Lucky Rainbow with the B-side Caramelized Crusade um, coming out on Tuesday, the 14th, which is so exciting. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that coming out for the world to hear. Yeah, Should that's going to be incredible yeah. for that to drop. But I've I've heard the track, and I can say your two musical identities between Sarah Flint and Apricot Inc. That was a very different version yes. we heard tonight. <laughs> yes, um, I feel like Sarah Flint, I guess, speaks from my soul, and then Apricot Inc. is my party side, my social butterfly, I guess. Um, it's think, really nice to have the both. I think I heard you describe the apricot ink side as your bopping. Kind yeah, of you side. can kind of like have a little groove, but then I guess my music is a bit more depresso, like <laughs> depresso spaghetto. Um, I don't see many people dancing to my music. <laughs> but they might be shedding a good tear, and I think exactly. if they're and doing it, that, it's, it's a, a good release. Um, and even for me, my music, writing it is often a good way for me to get out what I'm feeling um, and it really it helps it's such a big healer in my life 
And I think that really does come across. I want to talk to you about one of your tracks, which I think has a fascinating backstory to it, Lost. Yes. And what's the story behind that? So Lost was written quite a few years ago now. Um, I was suffering from some sleep paralysis. We've been practicing this behind the <laughs> scenes. Paralysis. There we paralysis. go. Paralysis. I was that sleepy thing, you know, you get it? <laughs> <laughs> um, so yes, I had sleep paralysis for a few nights and I just couldn't shake it, you know. Um, and then I wrote this song about it. And then soon after, I guess, it stopped. And I've only had it a few times since, so maybe maybe the music helped. Who knows? It's, well, but that's the power. It's all therapeutic. It. it is, it is. That sounds simply wonderful, yeah. as was your set. I've got to quickly you. ask you, besides the debut single coming out for Apricot Inc. on Tuesday, Yes. After that, who are we going to hear from next? Is it Sarah Flint or Ooh, Apricot Inc? I guess you have to stay tuned. There we um, go. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how we go. Okay, not giving much away. No, no. <laughs> keep it all under wraps. Mysterious. Oh, I like it. Yeah. It's good. Everyone's going to be following on the social media. Yeah, that's now. it. Got like to stay intrigued. intrigued. That's it. <laughs> you tell a good tale. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah Flint, congratulations on a wonderful set thank and thank you. you so much for joining thank us. Thank you for having me. Okay, Sarah Flint there. Again, if you did miss her set, you can re-watch it on the YouTube, Facebook and website. It's available any time from now. But now I must introduce our final act for this evening. We heard from him what feels like a millennium ago, right at the beginning of the show, but it is the man, the myth, the legend, the one and only Jack Billman.
it's all said and done When the smoke lifts and the war is won Reaper on a tombstone It remains an institution Heaven's got no vacancy Good evening. Thanks, Sal. That song was called uh, Devil's Got a Bed. It's a new one, so... Um, yeah, thanks for listening to it for the first time. Speaking of new songs, this one's called uh, Wash Away. And I'd like to put this one out to uh, all the friends and family of the Billmans and all their friends and families.
The dirt from my grandfather's hands flows in that river. But that don't wash away. Thank you if you're watching at home. Um, thanks, Kerry and Jamie. Good on you. Uh, Nick Chandler. Thanks, mate. Good on you. I'm going to put this cape on. I just want to say a massive thanks to Live in Your Lounge. Um, I can't even fathom how much stuff has gone on behind the scenes here. It's just unbelievable. So thank you all so much for all your efforts, all the crew here, all the cameramen, all the soundies, all the legends. So thank you so much. This song's called Friends Like These, and I wrote it about friends. And these guys are now my friends because they're looking after me so well. So thanks very much. This goes out to the crew.
Jack Sampson, thanks mate. Mark Walker, you're a legend, thank you very much. Tara, thank you. Um, can I invite Sarah Flint out please to do a song because her voice is awesome and I want to utilise it. Capo back, Sal. Sorry, mate. Oh, yeah, there's already one there. Thank you. Is Sarah coming out? Oh, there you are. How you going? Come around here. How are you doing? I'm good. Have you got a mic? No, I don't. Oh, oh there you good. go. Thank you. Come over here if you want. Okay. A bit more room over there. <laughs> social distance remember yeah, we are. this one's called shade um, and Sarah was good enough to do some backup vocals on it when I released it last year um, which made it a lot better than I could so thanks Sarah <laughs>
Thank you. No worries. I'll see you in a sec. See you soon. Um, if you're at home, give um, Sarah a bit of a clap. That'd be awesome. Um, Brent Thomas, good on you, mate. Thank you. Rebecca Barnes, thank you very much. Neil Jan Porter, thank you. Irene Porter. Need my glasses. Thanks, Irene. <coughs> This one's called Key Song.
back soon. Thank you very much. Are you enjoying Live in Your Lounge? Head to liveinyourlounge.com, hit donate and support your artists. Jack Billman there, delivering the goods. And Sarah Flint getting involved as well. We absolutely love to see that on the Live in Your Lounge stage. I, if you do like the sound of what you've just heard, do not fear, that is only set one of two from Jack Billman and very shortly we will be heading back to the stage for that second set. But I will take a quick moment of your time to quickly thank this weekend's presenting partners. It is the Where You Are Festival, supported by the ACT government. Check out the work these guys do. Over the next couple of months, they will actually be supporting different creative organizations that will help deliver exciting and vibrant events all over the ACT. If you want to learn more about the work they do with the Where You Are Festival, just head over to the Rise Canberra website at risecanberra.com. Right, now back to the good stuff. The reason why we are here, live music lovers, for the final time this weekend, please welcome back to the Live In Your Lounge stage, Jack Billman. They say good things come to those who wait. So please welcome back onto the stage, the one and only Jack Billman. Running on time, running on time, baby, running. 
Carrie. Carrie. Thanks, Arnie Rosie. Arnie Good, Rosie. On you. Good on you. Um, that one's called Running on Time, and it's another new one that'll be on the new record. Um, yeah, it's um, nice to actually play these live and work out what I need to work on. So there we go. I'm just going to swap this harmonica. Um, speaking of new songs, this is a new one. This is actually like two weeks old. Probably shouldn't be playing it, but I'm going to. That's what I always seem to do. Um, this one's called Plastic Roses. Um, and I wrote this sort of just scrolling on social media. Um, yeah, I won't say anything else.
Thank you. From everyone, claps, clap, clap. That's very broad. I like that. I wish everyone was that nice. This one's called Walkabout, and I wrote it for one of my good friends a few years ago when he was going through a rough time. Um, yeah, so this one's called Walkabout. Thank you very much um, for all the kind comments coming through. I'll get back to everyone when I get off. Um, I like to do that. If you take the time to write to me, I'll write to you. This one's called The Hills Have Eyes, and this is going to be my last song. Thank you so much to Eves and Live at Your Lounge, uh, Live in Your Lounge, sorry, Sal for helping me out with guitar teching, Wallace, Sarah, um, everyone involved this night. Everyone should keep watching these Friday, Saturday nights because it's such an epic production and just important for the, the scene for us to give us something to do. So. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a great evening, and um, I'm going to play this song and have a couple of beers, I reckon, so thank you very much. Feel 
guys thanks very much Are you enjoying Live in Your Lounge? Head to liveinyourlounge.com, hit donate and support your artists. Jack Billman there, rounding off another fantastic evening of live music, which I'm sure we can all agree is exactly what we need right now. Huge thanks to all of our musical acts this evening. Wallace Mayer, Sarah Flint and of course, Jack Billman. If you missed any of tonight's show or you just enjoyed it so much you want to re-watch it for a second time, you can catch up on our YouTube, Facebook and the website liveinyourlounge.com.
www.ncbc.com. Before we do leave you this evening, there is one more very important detail that we have to figure out, and that is figuring out who our super fan for this evening is and who's going to take home that Grease Monkey prize giveaway. And it is Susan Morrison McGiven. Congratulations to you. You are taking home that Grease Monkey prize giveaway. Thank you so much to everyone again from all of us here. Do stay tuned in next Friday. We have another three musical acts for you. We have the Cherry Pickers, the Lying Cheating Bastards, as well as Blank Stairs. And then on Saturday, we've got an early start. From 4 p.m., we have a whopping six, yes, six bands next Saturday as the Country Music Association of Canberra presents the Canberra Opry. That promises to be an absolutely fantastic afternoon and evening of live music. But that is just about it from us today, not just for another day, but for another week. So thank you so much for everyone who tuned in at home and sent your love in towards us via the internet and social medias. But from all of us here in the Live In Your Lounge crew, thank you and good night. Next week on Live In Your Lounge, Friday, Blank Stairs, Lying Cheating Bastards and The Cherry Pickers. And on Saturday, in conjunction with the Country Music Association in Canberra, Lorena Quinlivan, Montgomery Church, Ash Greenwood, Urban Drover, Sophie Rainbow and Leanne Casley.